We'll look at this problem where the vessel has to actually load two weights using our own derrick and we cannot have a list or angle of heel of more than 8 degrees at any time. We've got two weights, both 50 tonnes on the key and the weights are 17.6 metres from the centre line. We're going to store them on deck uh, 10.1 at 6.7 meters each side of the center line but we have to put the first weight on the deck nearest the key calculate the least initial allowable GM or metacentric centric height required before commencing loading so we have to work out in our mind when will the maximum listing moment occur so it's telling us that we've our derrick is 20 meters from the keel, the derrick head. We have two weights on the key, and we've got to put the first weight on the key side for the vessel, on the, which part of the vessel is on the key side. And then we've so the maximum list is going to occur when we place that weight at 50 times 6.7, and then we picked up the second weight at 50 times 17.6. Because what's going to happen, the derrick's going to swing that weight over and position it on this side. So that in effect those two will cancel each other out. And this is when the maximum angle must occur. When you've got the weight at this position and you've got the weight at its furthest 17.6 when it first picked up. So we know what our maximum listing moment is going to be. So there we are, we've worked it out there and it's 1215 and by moving the formula tan theta is listing moment over displacement times gm by moving that around we can get gm on its own because we know tan theta we're told it's eight degrees we know the listing moment we just work that out we know the weight of the vessel because it's nine thousand plus the two weights because we put one weight on deck and we pick the other one up so because we know three values we can find the gm this is the GM at the uh, lift when we pick the second weight up. In other words, the maximum list of 8 degrees is going to occur. And we find that it's 0.95. Then we would go in the tables with 9,100 tonnes displacement. Not 9,000, but 9,100 to get our KM. And we find by interpolation it's 9.35. Therefore, at the point we pick the second weight up after having loaded the first the kg at that point is going to be 8.4 so we know when we're at an 8 degree list and we pick the second weight up our kg at that point is going to be 8.4 so let's work backwards there's our weight 9100 at 8.4 let's take the first weight off the vessel that we put on 50 tons at 10.10 .10. and let's remove the second weight from the crane 50 tons at 20 meters it doesn't matter which way you write those in the table of course because they're, they're both minus work out the moments our weight of course will be 9000 because we've we've gone back to the beginning therefore our kg is going to be 8.33 if we go into the tables at 9000 tons we can find the KM is 9.39 and you can see how they've changed there so at 9100 our KM is 9.35 at 9000 9.39 KG is 8.33 at 9000 the correct KG that we want KM 9.39 therefore for our GM we mustn't have a, 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 minim, a minimum of any less than 1.06 of a metre so the first thing you have to do is work out, well, what's the maximum listing moment? It's very important. If you don't get that right initially, you're not going to solve the problem. And often a sketch will help work that out. Maximum listing moment. Use the formula here. We know that. We know our weight. Total weight of the vessel. We know the angle because we're told it. And that's our GM at the lift. Came from the tables. That's the kg at the point of lifting the second weight when the list is 8 degrees. 
work our way back and we can find the initial kg and therefore the initial GM required minimum value for the vessel.